some good food today. A mess of good food, I hope. I, I think hope. so, it smells really good. It's my first time making these, they are called uh, ham bites, ham cubes. Cubes. Ham cubes from yes. an awesome recipe book, but before, uh, we show you how to make those and let you try some of them. We're going to show you a story that National Puppy Day was actually yesterday, but take a look at what happened when I went to do this story. Tiny paws and a tiny little tail. Ears that aren't quite grown into. Whoever said you can't buy happiness must have forgotten about puppies. National Puppy Day is a day devoted to the littlest ones. But while we were visiting local shelters, we found there aren't a lot of little ones around. They get scooped up pretty quickly. With the passage of time, all puppies eventually get older. There's lots of those to choose from. Sometimes when you get older, things can get a little lonely, and not just for dogs. I'm retired, don't have a whole lot to do, so I've got to pay it pay attention to something other than myself. George Moffat lost two best friends recently, his little Westie a few months ago, his beloved wife a few years ago. Seems like uh, he's friendly enough. There's a universal truth about dogs of all ages. They can fill a space in your heart where something is missing. See if he picks me. He has to pick me rather than me pick him, you know. Mr. Moffat came here today to see if he might fill the same void for the little dog with no name and no home. Good boy. Oh, you're a good boy. This was supposed to be a story about puppies. Instead, we found some subjects who might have outgrown their youth, but still have enough love to last a lifetime. You're a good boy. Yes, you are. You're a real good boy. And it turns out today, on National Puppy Day, Mr. Moffat's pick. Ooh, you're a chubby little guy. I don't even like you. Oh my God, you are actually, those are tears. Because that's so Here, sweet. Hey. Hey, look at this. I've been saving this for you. I'll be sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No one can even see that. I'll be sure. Come save us. You can got... I wear glasses like you? Because now I'm crying. Are you very emotional right now? Absolutely. Come that was here. sweet, right? Oh, wow. See? This is love. That people. was sweet. Hey, so we're, we, you didn't know you were going to eat so good when you came here to WBTV today? I lost 15 pounds. I'm getting it right back. I love <laughs> this. Oh, we're going to put at least five oh, more on top I of that. It, oh, my goodness. It. That was a chef out there. I'm going to just let you know this. I'm not a chef. <laughs> Sometimes I set things on fire. But we're going to try a little something here. Wait, then we're in the same business. <laughs> that's what, that's oh, what nice. we do in concert. Yeah. Very good. Very good. There we really go. Good. So your recipe today is from Mama Mur Mom Murphy's uh, cookbook. Our treasured, treasured recipes there. Um, really excited about this one. Tell me what they're called again. Ham Fried cubes. ham cubes. I keep wanting to call them ham bites or ham nuggets or something like that. Ham cubes and is this what is, these are. It's part of the reason I love this cookbook is because it's all handwritten. All handwritten. It's hilarious. Out of Winston-Salem. Yeah. She is 92 or 94 years old. Unbelievable. Look at her. That makes it personal. Yeah. Pretty lady. Who writes a handwritten note? A sweet oh my God. little Ms. I, Murphy. I, 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 that's, I, and I've learned that too, especially you know when something's special to you. Yeah. You write it, you know, you set a special note by hand. And makes that, a difference. That, yeah, absolutely. That's cool. what love is. And it even tastes even better. Mm, just wait. So you know what love, you're going to get on stage with me. You better stop playing. <laughs> oh, I might just leave the kitchen and you two do this together. No, 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 no. no. It takes a village. <laughs> oh, I love this. Okay, ham cubes. Um, you get okay, some ham. Okay, tell me what to do. I'm working. Okay, you're going to want to get your ham, right? Cut it up into one. Now, don't touch it. Oh, just get, you get it. Get your hands dirty. Actually, okay. you know what? You mind getting your hands dirty? Absolutely. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, just wash them. Ha grab one cube, Okay. one ham cube, put it in the egg wash there. That's basically okay. egg, a little bit of milk. Okay. Excuse me, and some pepper on top of that. Now, oh. you're going to have to get your hands dirty. Okay, now. all right. With the left hand, let me show you how to do this easy. Sure. Left hand, you're going to want to turn the ham around. Okay, get it coated. With your right hand, grab that and put it in this, what is breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, and parsley. <laughs> Move that around, make it happy, let it swim. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, mm. take that, shake off the excess. Put it in this hot grease right Careful here. Careful, it's hot. Careful. Everybody, oh. Look at that. <laughs> That's what the guy in the truck did. I was gonna try it, that was perfect. <laughs> I love well, I that. Just get out of here. <laughs> You got this. That's man. pretty good, right? And then yeah. how long do they have to, until they get brown? Until you know they're done. That, which is basically what this awesome cookbook, why it's so cool, is that there's not any um, real, real hardcore instructions in there. It's kind of right. like, you know, until it's assuming done. that you've got some common sense there. Look, he liked it so much, he's doing another oh, one. Oh, this is awesome. I'm learning how to do this. You are getting this, my friend. <laughs> I love it. You see me on the Food Channel in the middle. <laughs> of this stuff plays, you know? Singing and cooking. <laughs> Singing and cooking, exactly. That could be the name of your show, Singing and Cooking. No in way. the Secret Garden. Oh, that's, that's perfect. Your hands are all dirty, so you no, can't. No, that's not dirty. That's flavor. Oh. oh. But you can't yeah. grab a ham nugget. Would you like me to give that to you there? <laughs> Try that. Mm. Is your wife here? <laughs> 
that yeah. good? Oh, salty. man, is that salty that's amazing. The ham. You don't put any? Look, the crew is here. I mean, oh. Kristen Hampton, I feel right a little now. bad that you don't have your glasses. Those are we my glasses crew. that you're wearing. I know, here you wear the only one without glasses. Well, <laughs> okay, now see, if we do this, we yeah. got to do the dance. What's the dance? This is the ham nugget. When the food is really good, Yeah. it's this. It's the ham nugget dance. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. I, need, I need some motivation. Ham nuggets. <laughs> 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 some right Can you say a little ditty about these ham nuggets? Just right off the top. Right off the top. Give me something freestyle. Oh. <laughs> I wanna read your mind. <laughs> know your deepest feelings. I wanna make it right for you, <laughs> baby. Eat. <laughs> eat. eat breakfast. <laughs> that was good though. Nice wow. boom. Kristen, thank you. My pleasure. We'll be Man. right back. <laughs> Is that you?